So the product I'm gonna to talk to you about today isn't the product I ever really thought about needing. I had no idea something like this even existed. But what I have here is the Ulanzi net slash fence mount. And like I said, I never even thought about needing one of these before, but after I picked it up and tried it out, I definitely need it. It's got this nice box that it comes in here. And what you have here is when you first pull it out, it's quite a thing to look at. There's all of these different knobs and attachments and angles that you can adjust stuff at. This is the pretzel of gadgets. And it also has an action camera mount inside here. So this mount would be compatible with GoPro camera, with a DJI camera. The key components of this, this right here, you attach to a chain link fence. So you pull this back and then you let it attach and tighten, and it's gonna hold this in place. And then what you have here, this mount right here, this is where you attach your action camera. So what you do is you put the mount on here that came with it, screw it on, and you put your action camera here, you get it adjusted as you want it to be, and you tighten this knob, and this will stay in place. But when this is loose, you can adjust the angle a host of different ways. Basically, whatever works for you in your situation, you can adjust it there. So with this one, you can put your phone on right here, and you can have your camera pointing through the fence. But you don't have to just use the phone with this. If you don't want to use your phone, if you just wanted an action camera on it, this also works great for attaching external power banks. Has a nice tight fit on it, and then you can plug in your action camera with the USB-C cable to keep it charging and powered continuously. So that's also an option. If you're at a sporting event, if you are shooting some hoops with friends, if your kids are playing baseball, softball, if your kids are riding bumper cars and there's a chain link fence, this is your go-to gadget. So if you've ever been filming in a situation where you wish you could attach your cameras to that fence, instead of having a tripod behind it looking through the fence, because when you're looking through a chain link fence, oftentimes the focus of your camera is going to focus on that fence and it's not gonna focus on what's going on on the other side of the fence. But when you use this and mount your camera and your phone to it, you can line up your camera lens so it's looking through one of the holes in the chain link fence and you're not gonna see any fence with the camera. And what I did when I tested this out is I used my GoPro Hero 11 and I used my iPhone. And what I did is I had the GoPro Hero 11 in the default one times zoom. So there was no zoom on this but I used the camera on my iPhone 12 Pro and I put that to the 2X. So what I could do is I could have one camera at the normal focal length and then I could have this one zoomed in two times. And I like using iPhones for zoom because the quality with zoom from an iPhone is gonna look a lot better than it's gonna look from an action camera. These have multiple lenses where one of them is designed to be more telephoto and zoomed in. So a practical use for that is if your child is playing a softball or baseball game, you could have two cameras set up recording simultaneously. And then if you wanted to do an edit later on, you could show a wider angle view from your action camera. Then you could have more of a telephoto view. So if someone makes a big play and maybe the telephoto gets it closer up, you could use the footage from that. But maybe at times you want a wider angle view. It's very rugged feeling too. Most of it is, uh, it's like a hard plastic material. Some of it has a metal feel, especially this part right here that says Ulanzi on it. It feels like metal, I'm not sure if it is or not, but it's definitely that rugged plastic feel. It's not a flimsy feel to it, which I like. It's pretty solid in the hand. And when I used this out on the chain link fence, it definitely wasn't going anywhere. Now, I didn't test it out hitting it, with a ball from the opposite side. I don't think this would let go of the fence if that happened, but say a foul ball came back in a baseball or softball game and happened to line up with this, I think this would be okay. But if the ball rammed the fence into your phone or your action camera, there might be some damage to your devices. Good thing about most action cameras like the Hero 11 and the Osmo Action 3 
is the lens covers are replaceable. And I think they're like $20. Now, if you break the lens on your iPhone, that's a little bit different story. That's gonna cost a bit more. So keep that in mind. I think this right here is pretty rugged and can take some hits, but your cameras may not be able to. And I looked at this for specs on how much weight this can hold, and it set up to 900 grams. So technically, if you had a smaller camera, like a smaller mirrorless, uh, like the ZV-E10, uh, the ZV-1, any of those, you could probably connect those to this as well. So keep that in mind, it's got a lot of versatile, useful functions. And another great thing about this is you don't even have to stand by it all the time. If you're using an action camera like the GoPro or the DJI, you can pair these with Bluetooth. You could be 20, 30 feet away and you could control your GoPro or your DJI from your phone. So if you don't want it recording all the time, maybe you want to capture different things, you can hit the record button on here, record for a minute. You can stop it, you can start the recording again, you can get several different clips. So you don't have to stand by it at all times either, which is also a big perk. So if you ever find yourself at a sporting event and you want your action camera or phone recording it, I definitely recommend checking out the Ulanzi fence mount. I've linked to this in the description below, so you can check it out.